another measure. Holy Ghost, another one thousand. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Don't feel shy. Why am I holding scissors? If there's one thing that I want you to know about me, it's the fact that I will always self-evaluate throughout the year. I used to do this once a year, okay? But I think that was last year. I kind of learned from my sister, okay? There are certain things that I haven't experienced, but they have experienced and I learned from them. I don't have to experience it to know what to do okay i learned from my sister to always self-evaluate okay and i find myself doing that now monthly than i would have done before over the years i would do that like once in a year but now i do it every month okay and that has helped me a lot it helped me a lot last year also i have my goals of course for this year goals and resolutions i feel like are two different things firstly but for this new year okay i just have things that i want in my year and i'm going to walk towards it um there are things that i want in my year and there are things that i want out of my year so basically we're doing ins and outs but i have listed them in like five categories okay and these five categories also like encompasses like 12 points okay so <laughs> that's what we're doing but i want to take down my braids so this is me having a vulnerable conversation with you guys in my most vulnerable moment because i'm taking down this hair that looks like crap at this moment okay i've had the hair for over a month i am currently in my monthly it's, it's my time of the month okay so i am not feeling my best but we're gonna do it anyway so the first category that i have here i have my note on my phone just so i don't skip on anything because it's very it's very easy to just skip a point or two when you're filming some of these videos the first category i have is beauty and for beauty i have split beauty into skincare clothing and hygiene okay out with the excess skincare products and in with the simple skincare routine for me i don't want to be doing all that i have to have this i have to have that nope that's not me and when it comes to hygiene i feel like my teeth is beginning to get on my nerves i know like this is me being vulnerable so don't even don't come for me i feel like i have the most beautiful set of teeth but i want it white <laughs> and i feel like we all go through that phase where we just want to up something about ourselves and i feel like for me this year teeth is one of them and i feel like i'm going to whiten it i did do like a test run i'll call it a test run on um, this crest crest 3d whitening strips or something like that yeah i did a test run on it yesterday i collected because my sister uses it so i took just one of hers and i tried it to see what it would feel like because me and sensitivity when it comes to certain areas in my body it's just too sensitive so i just want to be sure that i won't have a lot of like reactions from it i tried that and it worked so i will repurchase that by the end of the month possibly i'll try doing that if that doesn't work my dear i'm gonna save i'm gonna save and i'm gonna whiten my teeth no, you can't tell me anything <laughs> you can't tell me anything because that's what i want to do this year um when it also comes to hygiene as well i also want to take take before i say thick i want to take some certain part of my you understand my body very seriously not like i wasn't taking it serious before but they are just some parts of my body i want to take more seriously aka my hair <laughs> my hair i want to take my hair more seriously this year i do a lot of braids and i don't carry braids for long that's me but sometimes i tend to take it on for so long without washing it and that's a very bad hygiene move don't don't do it please don't do it don't be like me don't do it it's a very bad hygiene move i would have like um breakouts on my forehead and i'm like why am i breaking out my dear is the hair my sister is the is the hair is the hair baby is the hair that is breaking you out <laughs> so just don't do it take more care with that and when it comes to clothing i know my personal style now i know the kind of clothes i like i know what i'm looking for when i'm buying things in the market so this year i'm not buying anything that i know that i will not wear the next category is friendship this is the category that i dread talking about but i'm going to be very honest with you guys here okay so babes when it comes to friendship i lack patience 
and I'm very serious. I lack patience. I don't want to hear what it is that you're going through that made you react this way to me. What you're showing me is what I'm taking. I don't have the patience for you to come out of that that you're going through. Just don't be nasty to me. Just don't show me. Like, I've not had, I would say, I've not had luck with friendship, okay? So I just tend to protect myself. So when you show me that side of you that I don't like, I'm cutting you off. I'm not even giving you the grace. So this year, I feel like one thing that I want to be more conscious about is having patience with people because a lot of people have patience with me. Like, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute when my best friend is like, oh, okay, I understand and things like that. But for me, I don't understand. I'm not understanding <laughs> anything. And that's a bad thing. So that's one thing I want out of my life this year, just having patience with people. But best believe that if you if you, if you do if you do anyhow, I'm going to cut you off. I will cut you off. That's just me. So that's one thing when it comes to friendship. Another thing, guys, I will be as vulnerable as I can with you all in this video. So just listen to me when I share this particular point. Another thing is male friendship. My loves, there are just some male friends that you meet and you feel like, oh my God, this person in my life, the friendship is beautiful. Conversations are beautiful. It's not like love or anything romantic you get. It's just friendship, just plain friendship. And then this person asks you out and you know that it won't just work out in that way. And there goes your friendship. It's so sad. Friendship breakups when it comes to like the male gender, like for females, it's it's real. And I feel like we don't talk about it a lot because we are all up in our girl phase. We are all up in that, oh, I don't care <laughs> phase. Like you're like, I don't really care. I don't really care. My dear, I care because I am all about building beautiful friendships. I'm someone that if I like you as a friend, you will know. Like I don't hide it that I like you as a friend. If you're a male and you're around me and I like you as a friend, you know that I just want to be friends with you. But then it's not always like that. And it's so sad to see those friendships go. So one thing that I want out of my life this year when it comes to friendship is building unnecessary male relationships. Like, I'm not going to give you my time. I'm not about to be available to you if you know that you have any, <laughs> you have any interest in me. Like, I feel like that whole phase of telling a girl, oh, I want to be friends with you should just stop. So if you're coming into my life and you're telling me, I just want to be friends with you. And I ask you, I'm like, I'm going to be straight with you. I ask you, are you interested? Because I want to know if you're interested in me. And then I'm going to tell you. So if I say no to you, like, would you still want to be friends with me? And some people will tell you yes, but then they can't be. And that's understandable if it comes to that. But if you tell me yes, and I'm like, okay, I will just... I go with the flow. That's just it because I don't want to invest my time in friendships that I'll just get broken from the breakup because friendship breakfast is real and I don't want people serving me that this year. So I'm just going to try as much as possible to protect myself, ask the right questions and that's that. I feel like I've ranted enough <laughs> with, with that. Okay. So the other thing I have here is limits. Basically giving when it comes to giving in friendship, my loves. I am from a family that loves giving. I grew up seeing my parents give a lot, like a lot. My mom, she's such a giver that sometimes I'm like, oh. but this person is hurting you so bad that you're still giving. But another thing they'll tell, tell you is, my dad too, he used to do that also. God bless his soul. They'll tell you is, don't look at the person that you're giving to, look at God, because you're doing it for God and not just that person. And when I say giving, it's not just financial stuff okay your attention care love and all those things okay my parents will give and give until they have nothing else to give for me this year sweetheart okay one thing that i want to leave and get out like out of my year is that whole giving culture because at this point it's becoming a culture in my family yes um i'm going to give you and look at god okay but i'm also going to look at your character that's just it if I feel like I'm giving you so much and when it boils down to it, okay, you're not going to be there for me when I need you or I'm going to sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice for you. And when I need you, you're not going to be there for me. You're going to pick yourself over me. Like when it comes down to you, like, and that's human nature. Of course, people are going to pick themselves over you. But then why should I now be the one 
sacrificing my life when I'm not Jesus Christ. I know that we all want to be like him. We all want to live in... <sighs> Baby, I'm not going to give to you or be there for you if you're not going to be there for me in 2024. That's just it. I've had enough of that. So, sweetheart, I'm not giving when it's not necessary. That's just it. I'm just not giving when it's not necessary. Financially, physically, emotionally. Pitchy come, I'm not giving. <laughs> uh, I think my camera has stopped recording. Sweetheart, have you stopped recording? Okay, so that sweetheart did stop recording. Anyway, so the next um, thing that I have here is re romantic relationship. Committed relationship for me is out the door for now. I just want to get to know more people and then know what I'm getting into. Me before, I would tell you, I'm not really interested in knowing this now. When we reach that bridge, we'll cross it. No, let us cross that bridge now, okay? We are at that bridge, let us cross it. So that's it for me. Um, this year, I want to be more curious, okay? I want to be more inquisitive when it comes to romantic relationships. I want to know more about the person that I'm with. I'm an open book when I'm in a relationship, but at the same time, I feel like I don't really ask the right questions. And that's the thing. I feel like I ask the right questions, but there are just some questions that I just don't ask. And I ask them at the wrong time. And sometimes I also feel, and I feel like there are some ladies out there that are like me. Please, I'm not the only one in this boat, okay? You just feel like there are some questions that if you ask, it will hurt your pride. And where I am right now, I ain't got no pride to be hurt by certain questions. I'm going to ask. I will ask what I want to ask and you better be answering me so that's just that with that okay <laughs> so yes i'm gonna be a curious cat this year <laughs> another point that i have here is ugh, being tight-lipped about certain things awesome. okay <laughs> i want to be tight-lipped about a lot of things this year when it comes to romantic relationship as i said i'm an open book when i'm in a relationship and sometimes it's just no good you see that thing they call over familiarity it's real and i know it i know it for sure certain statements that will be made certain things that will be said you know that this is coming from somewhere and it just means that you've overshared and i don't want to overshare this year when it comes to like my relationships romantic relationships okay i don't want to overshare so i'm going to be as tight-lipped as i can <laughs> about certain things you don't need to know a lot i'm going to be curious but then i don't need to tell you a lot i'll tell you what i feel like you should know at the stage of the relationship not just pouring myself bare in front of you and we haven't even gone that far or you have not even paid my bride price and i'm telling you so much nope so yeah that's that the next one is career. All my loves. This video is long. Oh. This is long. When it comes to my career, I feel like I've been sleeping on my career. I've been letting a lot of emotions affect my career. So if I'm going through something right now, okay, I'll let it hurt everything around me. That's the kind of person that I am. If I'm sad, you know. I will cry my eyes out. I'm a very emotional being. I am as fragile as they come, okay? So anything that I'm going through in my life i let it affect every aspect of my life including my career and it shouldn't be so so this year i'm taking my career more seriously consistency okay like <laughs> i want to be as consistent as i possibly can on both channels but at the same time i'm not going to rush it okay because my other channel i want to do so much more on that channel I'm also trying to break into a different space of content creation as well. God willing, I'll start that very soon. I'm already planning towards it because it's like ah, one small heartbreak. I don't stop everything around me. One small talk. I don't stop everything around me. It's like I let things affect me deeply and it just hurts my career. It hurts everything that I'm doing. I'm, I'll just disappear for months and you'll not see me. And that's wrong i don't want to do that this year so the out with that and in with consistency okay and the next thing here is development i want to take more courses okay develop myself develop my skills this year um yeah that that's that <laughs> okay i feel like this is the last this is the last category guys so yes the video is long but it's fine so i never will lose my <laughs> i've not lost my happiness Sometimes I will speak Nigerian pidgin. Please bear with me. Okay, that's me. That's just me as I come. I speak English, but 
I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. <laughs> Uh, my next point is social media. I feel like with my social media accounts, okay, I've been able to manage it to an extent. And I mean with what I post and what I view. Last year, I started learning a lot about what I post. You know, the beginning of last year, I think it was the beginning of last year, I started my TikTok career also. Or was it the year before? I don't know at this point, okay? And the things I used to post on there before, as I said, I think I've said it, I've said this thing on the internet before, maybe on my previous channel. <laughs> on my other channel but not here so i'm going to say it again for you guys i feel like those things were sexualizing me especially some of these dancing videos and these dance moves that they use i was attracting the wrong crowd guys and that's one thing that i also don't want to do this year but i've been very conscious about it and that's like over sexualizing myself on the internet so things that i post things like that i am very more conscious about it so not about to come and start over sexualizing myself on the internet for nobody um the next point is filtering content that i consume so i'm just going to limit and be be conscious about what i consume on social media now so i it doesn't start interfering with what i um create and this was very evident in on my other channel last year because i was consuming some certain kind of content i felt like oh that's what was <laughs> that's what i was doing well but then i'm my own unique being and i have the kind of content that i want to create i just abandoned my own thing and I, I started creating those type of things and my dear if you're not very careful yeah it will consume you and it will consume like most part of your life so i'm very 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 careful where i consume now and i'll just keep doing that this year and yeah i feel like that's the end of this video i have i've tried i'm not done with it here yet so i'll just go ahead and finish it and guys that's the end of today's video and i hope to see you all in my next one Bye. Yeah.